Another episode of Devil May Cry. We're on the final mission here with mission number 20. Of course, we also have an epilogue, and I'm just going to review the game real quick after the epilogue, like I usually do with these games. Final episodes and stuff. <laughs> I want to take this last few minutes here before the uh, epilogue and all that to just thank you guys for sticking through with this last play. <laughs> Kid, I, I, was I was alone. You and Cradle, Cradle were all I knew. And now, now all of a sudden, I find out I have a family. family. What am I, what am I supposed, supposed to do with that? You, you always know what happens, right? Which is wrong. There's no need to tell yourself. Now Thanks. I guess, I guess that's all I, I needed to hear. Alright, so if y'all didn't see the last episode, Dante and Virgil fought, and this guy had his own, like, little demon form, that he came in and stopped them both from fighting. I don't know what's gonna happen, but... I swear! Oh my gosh! The fucking anime edification. Fucking awesome voice acting. Awesome. And the song playing in the background, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro. And I get to witness this again, too. I get to witness this all over again, too. Fucking anime ass speech. Rivalry. Very. <laughs> you came all this way just for that. Virgil. V. Whatever you call yourself. Dante's not gonna die here. Neither are you. Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> not gonna die my ass. Oh, that bitch slap nearly killed me. Damn! This is why I love Dante, bro. Then by default, I beat you. Agreed, Dante. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm just gonna sit this one out. <laughs> I fucking love this guy. I love every character in this game, bro. I loved V up until this shit, but now Virgil is even more badass. I'll make you submit. Father. All right, the epic ass final fight. This, this has nothing to do with you. Do it with me. That's it. So we end the game with, or we, we start the game with Nero, and we end the game with Nero. Very like cinematic. <laughs> And we get like sad music instead of badass music. Not sure how I feel about that part. You guys know I love my badass anime type shit. Huh? 
R2 near a staggered enemy. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, okay, I see. I see what it was about. Ah, now we get the badass for it. Love your existence. Oh! Ah. Okay, yeah, I'm starting to uh, believe him, but the finished part. Got no choice, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. I'm funny, right? Ah! Dude! I haven't gotten a single hit in on, hit in on him since he used his devil form thing. <laughs> Oh my god. Bastard. Oh, we're gonna have to fucking heal up again. We're gonna have to revive again. Look at that. This guy is too fucking strong for us. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> Yeah, we're we're gonna go for it. Cause I I, I just want to get fucking damage in on the bastards. See, we got a little bit of damage in. Ah. Seriously, no. They'd probably just say the F word. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We got him. We got him, bro. <laughs> I love this. I love this game. I don't want it to end, but I also do. Oh, brother. You cut off your own son's arm for more power. And you still lost. Enough, damn it. The underworld, the underworld is taking over. We need, we need to do something before it's too late. He's right. We need to close that portal. Hey, you lost, so you better do what he says. <sighs> I can still fight. Oh, we got round two. We got round two. Town. They don't just interfere with our business. Round two, huh, baby? Now, that's the smartest thing I've ever heard you say. Better hurry up. We still got a score to settle. Evidently. Wait, where are you going? We need to sever the Clyphod roots from the underworld itself. Then we'll seal the portal with the motto. Hang on. If you do that, you can't come back. Where do you think I'm going? Somebody's got to keep an eye on your old man. <laughs> you can't just expect me to stay here while you both go. It's because you're here, we can go. We're trusting you with things on this side. Fish. Make case Dante. Yeah. I know. Hey, wait! So we got a little bit more gameplay action, huh? Just a little bit. Take care, Nero. Adios. I 
going to lose next time. Next time? So then we're getting Devil May Cry 6, huh? Huh? What's this? It's the end. We the end now. I know there is an epilogue. Hey, so. wait. I'm still in freaking shock. About what? Uh, duh. Your arm? Ooh, the hell grows an arm back? It's just weird. It's like a lizard tail or something. Look, I don't know. It just grew. I mean, are you kidding me? Lots of weird stuff happened. There were demons, scary plant roots, and arms growing back. Lots of stuff. Do you know how much love and care I put in that double breaker? Nope. nope. This one. It's nice. So, uh, how's it feel? How's what feel? Saving the man who killed your own father. Heard Dante killed Virgil once. It doesn't matter. We're both gone now anyway. It's okay to cry. If you want, Nero, over a loss. Not cry. It doesn't make you a cry, baby. It does make you a little bitch, though. There it is. <laughs> oh, I love these characters, bro. That's the best thing about the game by far is the characters. I didn't cry when my asshole daddy died. But... Yeah, I know I'm. I wouldn't be here without him, that's a biological fact. Right. All I'm saying is, tough guy, it's okay to cry if you want. Devil's cry. Devil's cry. I'm not gonna cry. Devil's cry. We shut up. We shut up. Look at you. You're no one. Why are you crying? Stop saying cry. I know you want to say cry again. Devil may cry. <laughs> oh god. Oh, shit. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Coming, coming home. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but I got a surprise for you. Oh yeah, he's got a huge surprise. You shut up. Shh. No, 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 KDA. Not you. Nico. You know, in a big mouth. <laughs> I gotta call you later. What the fuck could you get mm -hmm. possibly want to stop the middle of the road? Ah. Uh, so they're not gone yet. Got an arm. Good. It's a prototype, and this is the perfect place to test it out. Look, you're gonna use it, and it's, it's a work of art. Gotcha. And it ain't complete without you. Well, how sweet. Wait. You'll get fixed as soon as we get back. So, devil's cry, huh? Let's go get the Fuck you, old Come on, come on! Just the epilogue? It lets us, like, play as the fucking music and credits are rolling. Yeah! 
<laughs> yeah. She's just in the van watching. Do I even like take damage here? Like, do I have a health bar or anything? Or do I just kind of go for it and win regardless? You're my devil too, girl. I fucking love this song. Like, this just sounds like a song I would listen to normally. <laughs> Outside of, you know, video game soundtracks. <laughs> Touching me yet? Yeah. Boss? I read online that the epilogue has a boss. So I'm assuming that's this is right. Yes, that's the end there. No! So what we gotta do is cut this thing down. That's right. Oh no, we're not done with mission 20 yet. I'm more than capable of handling this on my own. <laughs> You're gonna need some help. And someone to keep an eye on you. Spit the epilogue for chance. So he lets us play as these two in the final moments as well. Fine by me. Let's give them what they To this episode, by the way, about 20 minutes. I have about 10 minutes to do a little uh, review here. That being said, um, review for Devil May Cry 5. This game was genuinely perfect. I, I just played two 10 out of 10s in a row, in my opinion. Two 10 out of 10s in a row. First Far Cry 3, and now Devil May Cry 5. Wow. Just wow. Easily one of the best games I've ever played. Um, Right up there in the top 10, honestly. I can see why people want Dante and Smash. Let me just throw that out there. I can see why people want Dante and Smash. Not just because he's badass, but also because, you know, his moveset and stuff is so, like, creative and everything. And, um, the, it's, it's really linear level design. It kind of shows how you don't need games like... like like, like, you don't need games to be open world and shit, just to be enjoyable. 
even though even though I I don't necessarily have a problem with open world games, I'm saying like Devil May Cry, <laughs> Devil May Cry Five is very linear, and that's what makes it good. If this game was open world, I would not enjoy it. Let's just put it that way. Characters were easy, the, easily the best part. Uh, just the chemistry each character had with each other, all the way up to the um, just the freaking. Uh, like the plot itself and how we were watching these characters evolve with one another um, Like V, I had no idea who he was. I honestly speaking of which I preferred Going into this game knowing absolutely nothing about Devil May Cry because I felt like I was genuinely surprised at some of these parts and especially that last mission where fucking uh, What's his name that? Uh, Nero when Nero comes up and he's like no, nobody dies or whatever the fuck he said. That, that was so badass, bro. And then the actual fight with Virgil. Virgil was the most badass character I've ever, ever seen. Ever. Just fucking ever everything. Virgil was just such an awesome character. Dante was an awesome character. And he was funny. <laughs> um, Just everything about this game, y'all. Everything about this game. Right down to the graphics, to the plot. Okay, and here we go, a few weeks later. And the gameplay itself, I really liked the combat in this game, I just gotta say. Combat in this game was absolutely perfect. There were, you know, several different iterations of combat. I liked the freaking... The sections with V, before the, uh, the whole Virgil stuff. I've been thinking it's almost time for me to settle down somewhere. Hmm... Like, I, fe I felt like I they were really that. relaxing and stuff. It never really felt like you were gonna die. I, I hate to school you dreams, ladies, but that shit ain't gonna happen. What do you mean, Morrison? See, see there's this team to this place, and I have it. Why did you do that? Clever little devil came to see me right before his last job. Said something like, My dearest friend, I know you'll keep this safe because them crazy bitches. <laughs> Did I say crazy bitches? I'm sorry, I meant ladies. Anyway, the rest of the story is not important. You, you get the gist. I wonder if he even plans on coming back. God, me. What is important is I have a job for you two. Because the rent ain't free. Ha <laughs> I love these. I love this guy. The rent ain't free. So this is the actual epilogue here. So we get even more Devil May Cry 5, awesome! <laughs> Dante and Virgil right back at it. <laughs> Score for Dante. I'm up. <laughs> Where did you learn? It just never ends. I keep on thinking they're finally done. <laughs> and they're not. You know, I'm starting, I'm starting to think. To think. Maybe, maybe this is maybe. maybe. We got we plenty, plenty of time. Of time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> So they're like perfectly matched for each other. All right, I just got the trophy. Let's rock. Awesome. Okay, so that's it's mission twenty. Finally complete, y'all. Finally complete. I would. But uh, yeah. Just everything about this game, absolutely perfect in my opinion. Characters, ten out of ten. Um, e even I, I know I mentioned this too. Even like, I played with the really bad fucking stick drift, and it, it was a problem for me in Far Cry Three, just because that's a. Genuinely difficult game for me personally. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, we're done. We're done for sure now. We are done for fucking sure now. Yep, done for sure. But uh, yeah, Far Cry 3 was also a 10 out of 10 for me. It was it, it was pretty much a perfect game as well. Uh, only thing is, with the stick drift on that game, I actually struggled because of the stick drift. Like, the stick drift genuinely caused me to die a couple times. And in this game, since the combat is so smooth, so fun, so easy, and yet so creative, I felt like the stick drift, it was just giving me badass 360s all around, bro. Just all around, it was giving me badass 360s, bro. And it, it, it was freaking, it was awesome. It was just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And again, the characters, the chemistry that they have with each other is just awesome. Um, I genuinely feel like these these are some of the most enjoyable characters in all of fiction. Again, I can see why people want characters like Dante and Smash Bros. Just because he's, not only because he's a badass, I, I feel like their movesets, no matter who you pick, uh, like Virgil, um, V, Nero, Dante, they can each have like their own unique movesets. And that's, that's what I... Like, D Dante for Smash, bro. Dante for fucking Smash. Dante for Smash. If Bayonetta and Cloud can get in Smash, two people that nobody ever thought would, Dante can get in Smash, bro. Same with Sora. If Sora, of all motherfuckers, can get in Smash, you know Dante can get in Smash. Dante for Smash, y'all. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Yeah, just absolutely perfect all around. Again, two 10 out of 10 games in a row. Two 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 games in a row, which is kind of crazy, because the game I played before Far Cry 3, I don't remember, uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed 3 was not necessarily the greatest game, in my opinion. I liked the story, and I didn't like the gameplay. I ended up giving that, like, 7 out of 10. So, and then before that was Odyssey, I thought that was, like, 9 out of 10. So I haven't really played a 10 out of 10 game in a while, and right here I get two 10 out of 10 games in a row. You guys are witnessing me finish one of them right here but uh yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed the let's play if you did drop a like on this episode hit the subscribe button for my next let's play i'm definitely be going through uh other devil may cry games eventually and uh yeah just uh hit the notification bell so you're aware when those actually drop um leave a comment to boost this out to the algorithm uh for anyone who might like just gaming content or devil may cry content um and they can do the exact same process over and over. The process will repeat itself as long as you just leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel, watch the full video. Um, that's all I'm asking for. To spend your time on the internet with me. And, uh, yeah. I, we all know damn well you spend at least three hours a day on the internet. Get, get, some, get 30 minutes in right here. Anyways, y'all. That has been Devil May Cry 5. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the let's play. I know I did. Again, two 10 out of 10s in a row. From Far Cry 3 to Devil May Cry 5, I played two 10 out of 10 games in a row. In a row. I, absolutely awesome. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the let's play. For the final time, peace out.